I'm Leaf here, and I thought while I was working on a doll, I'd give you a update on what I'm working on. So I actually have three dolls that I'm currently working on at the same time. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you, I'm in the process of painting, and this is a surprise baby. If you go to my Etsy store, you have the option of ordering a surprise baby, and you don't know what you're going to get. You can choose the gender, boy or girl, or it can, that can be a surprise. Takes, I give myself at least six weeks to get that doll done, because I don't know what else I have going on. This isn't like, um in contact with someone and discussing a custom doll this is just someone who flat out orders one and they can order it at any time that I have that posting on my Etsy store um, so this person ordered one um, the first thing I'll show you is I needed to get better organized so I made these little sheets to help me and it just has on here um, the name of the person, their contact information, you know, and then information about the doll. But what's really good is I have the date that they've ordered the doll and the date that I plan to get it done. So I have an end date on there. Now I have to keep thinking back, when did I say I was going to get this doll done? I'm sorry if the camera is like whooshing around. I'm trying to keep it still. It's not working. I don't have someone to hold the camera for me. I need someone to do that. All right, so I decided for the surprise baby, I'm gonna do the Lee because Lee is pretty popular and it's pretty cute, and this is the Lee. And the camera, of course, doesn't like this pale skin, so it always makes it look paler than it really is, doesn't show the detail. But there's actually quite a bit of detail going on with this baby. Um, probably can see it a little bit more with the legs yeah you can see that the knees getting done the bottom of the feet's getting done um, gotten the layers down I'm now getting ready to get in the creases and do some detailing and then do the fingernails and stuff so kind of shows you a little bit of what's going on so we're in the early stages of this baby it's actually quite warm I just took it out of the oven so let's see what we got going on here so here is my mess um you know i've got my paint brushes i have my colors my palette tray my thinning stuff lots of sponges going around here but the other thing that i have going on we're going to get up and we're going to move here is i have a toddler that i'm working on and this is like a normal toddler, like the last one I did was um, a clown. This one, let me get her up here. Her painting is done. And as you can see, I'm in the rooting process. And she has a big head, so it's going to take a while to get her done. And But I ordered this hair. And I think it's going to be really pretty. I don't know how well you can see what's going on here without with me having just one hand trying to show you. But you can see it's got that slight wave to it. All I've pretty well gotten done is the outline. That's about all I've gotten done with her. And you can kind of see um, she's going to have a part go here and then go around. But this is the hair that I've ordered for her. The only thing I don't like is because I had to get the thicker hair because she was a toddler. My needle is being very damaging to this. And I don't know, you probably can't even see it. I can see it. I'm hoping if I bake it a few times, it'll help take that out. Um, but I'll give you a look at her leg. There you can see the collar matches pretty well my collar. So her limbs are done. Everything's done. We just got to get her hair and then we'll get her all sealed up and she'll be done. The last one I'm working on is a clown baby. This is a sleeping clown. I'm working on her paint. 
here she is isn't she awesome I love making these and I've decided to paint her hair I realized later that I didn't put any red in her hair and I'm actually surprised I didn't so I'll probably where I have some spots I may add some red but she she's a lot of work like I if this would be a normal baby I've been done um, but as I'm doing it, I'm realizing there's just so much more detail I need to put on her. But the fun thing I did with her limbs is like, this one is purple and she has the purple pads. And then her other one is yellow. Keeping with that clown theme. And... Her adjusted here. I was taking pictures of her yesterday, and then this one's green, and then we have blue. But this is where I was thinking I was almost done, and then the more I looked at it, like her hands and stuff are pretty well done, and her nails have been tipped, but she needs a little more detail, I feel like, on her limbs. But there she is. And when I get her done, I plan on selling her for 200 So if anyone's interested, she does not have a mommy right now. Um, and it's going to be a little bit before I get her completely done because I'm bouncing around with dolls. So anyhow, I wanted to show y'all that I have not disappeared. I've been very busy working. I'm probably going to get the surprise baby done because that one has been completely paid for and I know she's waiting on it the toddler um, she knew that was gonna take a while because of the hair rooting takes a long time and that one is micro rooted um, if I don't know how well I showed the detail in it but it is pretty much one little hair at a time yeah it takes a long time even even really good people who do hair a lot, it takes a long time to get that micro rooted in. But anyhow, that's what I'm doing. As soon as I get this sleeping baby done, I'm going to do a video and show you what she looks like completed. And then I'll probably get the clown done while in between working on, working on rooting. Well, that's it for this video. I thought I was going to get through it without an interruption, but that is impossible in this house. Just absolutely impossible. Um, but we tried. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment below. And if you're interested in a doll, I did make a custom price sheet on my Facebook page, which is Wilted Leaf Nursery. If you wonder how much a doll would cost, you can get on there and fill that out and that gives you a good idea um, so far it's been working pretty good so give that a try and let me know what you think so until next time guys bye